Hello everybody, welcome back to more Darkest Dungeon, and we are still in the midst of Operation Redshirt, where I am just throwing people away because I need to make back money to protect the people who I actually want to keep. It's not a good position to be in, I also can't increase my roster size anymore, which is a shame. We do have everyone back, almost. And my A team, oh no, Rory needs help as well. He still needs to get rid of a few of his bad conditions too. Hmm. We are not in a good position. Now who was my B team? The no names. Karen, Rebecca. They're the only no names. Still, I think I'll be sending my B team out again. And we'll see how they'll fare. With minimum resources and just have to hope that they, they achieve something. Come back with a profit is all I'm after here. I'm going to try and make this episode a bit longer than usual by the way, I apologise that a couple of episodes have been cut short due to outside circumstances, I am sorry about that. I've also been trying to learn the game a bit better in my off-camera game as well, where I've actually managed to kill the first boss and I'm up to the second boss. But it's bloody hard. So what have we got? A short explorer 90% of the rooms, hmm. A medium 90% of the rooms, or a medium do all the battles, well the only chance they possibly have is doing 90% of the rooms, so let's go with that. Now then. Our tank will either be Moose or Amy. Who's got the better traits? You are filled to the brim with bad traits. But how do many of them actually matter? Beasts don't matter. You don't fight beasts. Oh wait, where are we? Yeah, the runes. We don't fight beasts in the runes. So that's okay. Blight resist. We don't really get blighted either other than by traps. You will have minus two speed though because we'll be bright all the time. So in other words, you'll be going last every time. You do more damage against undead though, which is really, really good for here. Mind you, we could always bring two tanks, couldn't we? We could bring Moose as well. He's not really got any negative skills. Hmm. We'll bring Moose, we'll bring Amy, and then we'll bring our throwaways, our red shirts as I call them. So we've got Karen as our healer. What I should do is teach her the other heals so she has both of them and just get rid of one of these abilities that I never use. She's no good at attacking anyway. Um, who's my other throwaway? Rebecca, but she's pretty stressed. I could bring Matsumini just purely because he's not stressed at all does best in that position. So hang on, if I put you in this position, then the throwaway... She can still do the heal, and that's really all I need her to do. So, that's... whoops. Sometimes it makes me press on things I am not pressing on, I swear that is not me. So the idea here is not to win every battle, just to explore 90% of the rooms, which I think is actually worse. How much am I willing to spend here? I'll take a stack of food. In fact, I'll just take 10 food. Torches probably matter more. Let's do 7 torches. By the way, I also know how to use some more of these items. Like, I actually know you can use torches on the uh, the alchemical tables and holy waters for things like the, the ceremonial dust and the confessional booth, that kind of thing. That's all you're getting, guys. Good luck. The goal here is only to come back with a profit. I don't care if they win or not. We'll deal with that when the time comes. There has also been a couple of, well, actually a few, of your let him talk first. Once familiar, now foreign. So hang on, let me count here. This would be one room, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of nine. Star Trek reference! I'm just trying to work out, do I have to go to these two rooms? Because I'd have to be doubling back on myself rather annoyingly. I think I do, I think I have to clear at least one of them. If I go here and then immediately double back, I should be able to skip this room here, I think. So as I was about to say, there has been a few small patches. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be patch notes anywhere. <laughs> so I don't know what if it Ambushed ate damage. Wow. Invention. I don't know what if any repairs there eh, uh, repairs. Even the cold patching there's been. Seems bent on so yeah, let me try this. Passage. Use a torch on it. Alright, it made a bizarre. Right. The promise what did of it do? Oh, it filled my torch tool, so that's what it does. Right. Good. Took some uncomfortable damage from nothing so far, and there'll be a fight in here. Yes, there will be. So how's everybody's speed? We know Amy's going last. Such a Good start. Good start. Answered. Be brave, Moose. Be brave. Oh, good dodge. I'll give you that. You're only just below half health, it's worth pointing out. Pull the healer forwards? No, not today. Oh, that's right. Doesn't Karen have, like, a resist to pull? I think she did. One of my healers did. Right, so let's see what we're gonna do here. They've already had their turns, so blinding them isn't technically that useful until next time. We'll try it anyway. 
All right, got them both. That may be significant. Ooh, that is a bad dodge. Straight into healing. Ah, and this Hellion doesn't have the multi-hit. That's unfortunate. 80%, 80%. What's the difference between these two? Oh, who they can hit. Right, that can actually swing at the back person. I see. Good hit. That was the only damage. Oh, wait, no. They took one damage each and got stunned, which is actually pretty big. I've been reading a lot of advice as well. That's bad. <laughs> I've been reading a lot of the official forums just to see other opinions of the game as well and also try and get some tips. People are in agreement that stress overload is way too imbalanced at present against uh, stress gain, as in the stuff you can do against stress. It's impossible to keep control of it. Absolutely impossible. Confidence nice. As the enemy crumbles. So I imagine that that will be balanced because right now you just can't really do anything about it. You just have to suck it. But yeah, I did get some advice or, you know, I read up on some tips people had for playing. And I was making the mistake I thought I was when I started trying to keep everybody sane. You have to pick and choose. Give them no quarter. Do you know what I mean? I got four back there and yet like someone taking a crit on my side means everybody gets like 15 stress. It, it doesn't make any sense. Or 23 as the case may be. Let's see. Incision. Yeah. That was a miss I wish didn't happen. Let's try that again. Nice. Yeah, four back for just getting a kill. That needs to be like at least doubled. What does this do? Adrenaline rush, it cures bleed, increases your damage. We don't need to cure bleed because you're not bleeding yet. Yeah, go after the tank, that's the way. I do want to increase my barracks so I can recruit more people. I know some people want to have characters named after them and they've suggested some classes. You do have to keep in mind though, you might be going into the role of someone who's a throwaway character. I assume you don't mind though. Can't have much HP left. Three. Good dodge. Gives me another turn of healing. This is another thing people have been complaining about. The best way to heal is to have one enemy left and constantly stun it while your healer just sits there and does this. I don't want to do that. I think it's tacky. I agree that it shouldn't be the only way to do it, but at present it is. And it should definitely be changed, but yeah, As right now that is the best mount, way to heal. So too will resistance. There should be a viable heal potion, and I know food technically works like that, but it doesn't do enough. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Of course, it's trapped. Bleed. All right, well, just get your health back a little bit. So now I don't believe I want to go back or go to that end room. The idea here is just explore the rooms. I'm not looking for fights, and we're definitely going to have some people crack in this mission. But hopefully, we might see a heroic crack rather than. The negative one that just brings everybody down almost instantly. So we'll go here, we'll go the long way around because the idea is exploring the rooms. Trapped! What a surprise! Why have you stopped? Keep moving. Yeah. I hate that it automatically goes back to your map as well when I'm trying to use torches. Alright, eating is fine, that's a little bit of health back. Hold up, okay. They're just mentally preparing themselves, maybe listening. Ah, we've got scouting. Maybe that's what that means. Empty room. Fantastic. Although we've got a fight on the way. I have to go around this way. The idea is exploring the rooms. So, yep. We're going to get a fight. And that's it in this hallway. We could get the jump on them. We're at 82. Let's use a torch. The match is struck. Did we get a surprised? Did they get surprised? No. Unfortunately, they've got an arbalist as well. Wait, this stuns, right? Yeah. You get stunned upon. Good. Did that in the right order as well, that was his turn. Goodbye, bring the herbalist forwards. I want to smack him. Good, not enough to kill sadly, but still good, he's going to get a turn. He got brought a bit closer though, so he had to be in it, jab. X-Blade, that usually does more than that, so that was kind of like the best result there. This fight's going a lot smoother. Maybe because I plan better. People did say that there's a lot of value in stunning enemies, not just to do the tacky heal constantly thing. Good. She, no, she doesn't have a stun, so... Good damage, though. Right, miss. Let's have you stun. Well, haha. 
He's actually got a reasonable stun resist, just shy of 40%. The force of devilry! I don't want to kill him until I get another heal in. There we go. So even if he gets a turn, I think the DOT will kill him? No, not quite. Oh, you bastard. Why are you knocking him back? What's the point? You're just gonna die like that. Got a bit more food and a tiny bit. We're not getting enough gold. And it is a shame. We're finding everything except the thing I wanted. More gold, please? You think that's fucking funny? <laughs> there we go. We know this room is empty. We also know the next room is empty and there's no fights on the way, so that's actually excellent. Bring the map a little bit over here. So people have also been pointing out there is some spelling errors in the game. I've, I don't think I've pointed out any. I haven't really read bios and whatnot, but I'm, you know it's early access. So, so if I use this, there's a chance he'll get afflicted by something. Who's got the most afflictions of this party? Oh, definitely you. All right, you, Amy, use it. Oh dear. Well, you were going to break it anyway, so. Should probably use a torch. As the light gains purchase, I use the torch just in time to take eight damage. Yay! Purpose is made clear. Another empty room. Oh, we got scouting again. A fight on the way. Empty room. Fight on the way. Fight. So I think I need to clear these three rooms, or sorry, these two rooms. So I need to do three fights to do that. Are we in any condition to win three fights? At present, not really. It's going to depend on how many heals I get away with in a fight. And if I find any spare food, I need enough for at least one more hunger event, I feel. Hacks so what do we get here? Anti-venom. Oh, that's got 500 gold value. That's pretty good. And that's another thing people have been pointing out. When you leave a mission with items, you should keep the damn items. And yes, you should. Definitely. Also, if you try and use something and it has no effect, like say you used a key on a pile of rubble for some stupid reason, the key gets used up, and that's also not good. That is not a good system. So hopefully these things will all be changed. Good bleed resist. Alright, what are we gonna do? Ah, oh, it's only stunned the one. Let's just just go for the stab. Go for the heal naturally. Good. Best result of that one. Also good. If you could stop picking on my tank. Oh wow. A strike for righteousness. True that. His face looks so bad when he says, Oh no, leave me alone. Speaking of leaving him alone, if you could stop hurting my tank when he's almost dead. Yeah, make him max strength with a massive crit. Yeah, alright. Moose is at death's door, but that's alright. If I heal him, he will instantly recover. Oh, he actually did get a courageous result. I think that might be my first, right, in this playthrough? I've had one off camera. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yes, it is. Virtuous, that's what they call it. So sometimes rather than going batshit insane, they go kind of batshit and create insane, but like Batman style, so they actually become better. So when it's Moosey's turn again, we'll get to see what that means, assuming he doesn't die. We shall prevail! It might give a morale boost to everybody. Oh, it gives some kind of boost to everybody. Let's try and go for the stun, because you need to live. Good. And you're saved! This is another fault of the mechanic. If you bring someone back from Death's Door and then they immediately get put back in it, or you know, at some point in the fight they go back into Death's Door status, everybody takes another massive stress damage. And it shouldn't be that way. They've had their damage buffed, by the way. By one point minimum, one point max, I think. Yeah. Goodbye. So we've got a key, victory. some more valuable stuff. A victory, nonetheless. I love that one because it's when he sounds most like Bane. So we need at least the four food lit. for a clear. hunger event, so there we go. We require only the strength to follow it. And we know this room is empty, so we can just wander in. But as soon as we leave this room, we're getting into another fight. Moose has only got 9 HP, but he, he stays like insane in the good way for the rest of the fight. This should be the last room. But we have to win two battles and a bit. Well, this one could be quite easy, actually. If I. Oh, yes. This should be easy. Please don't make me eat those words by now missing 50 times in a row. Aha! Uh -huh. This is all a free turn, though, so misses are fine in this turn. Jesus Christ. Jesus! I was kidding! 
I was kidding! Be gone, fiend. I mean, still, we that was just a free turn, but... That is unbelievable. Well, at least they're not hitting Moose. The stun is a kick in the pants, though. Alright, yeah, it was a mess. Good. We're going to have to keep on healing just to get Moose back up. So that's technically two people I've got wasting turns now. Nice. Executed, Executed. You might say something and boost everyone again? No. Alright, that was actually a fairly easy fight. This expedition a speed. At least promises success. Probably shouldn't make Moose open this, but I did anyway. Stashed heirlooms. More crests. I need deeds, damn it. Oh, let's use a torch since we're... Well, wait until we're near the door. The light. The we know for a fact there's a fight in here, and it's going to be a four-person one, and it's going to be murder. Oh, well, it's more spiders. That's technically not as bad, then. No free turn this time, though, so don't disappoint me, guys. Ah, uh, better just heal. Keep everybody... Oh, it's happening again. We shall prevail! Give everyone this attack boost. Yeah, everyone apart from himself. Oh, wait, no. His has been boosted as well. Uh, it doesn't show that he's boosted, but that must just be from the powerful trait. So, yeah, he is boosted, too. It's a shame it doesn't raise chance to hit. Maybe I should have taken out these ones first because they poisoned. Reeling, about to break. No, Amy might get tested here. Yep, she will because that's a critical hit as well, so she'll get stressed by that. Or not. She must be close. What's your stress at? 92 out of 100. That'll bring it back down. Then this could be the last thing they need to do. Oh, that wasn't a kill. That was a bleed, though. Oh, what is this? Curing Blight, your hero's... Oh, it's giving me this tutorial because I have the means by which to heal it, right? I actually have an item, but it's not his turn, so I'm not going to do it. I'll do it after. Oh, wait, no, that hero was Blight as well. Sorry, I forgot that Karen was it. Whoa! Blow. That should be it, maybe? Even if it isn't, the last room doesn't necessarily have combat in it. Ooh, lots of money. Slow and insidious killer. Ah, crap. Alright, we need to do one more room then, that would leave one See, this is what I'm talking about. The search 90% of rooms is worse than the fight all room battles. Uh, let's have Amy be my explorey person. And we have another torch, right? Yeah. The match is struck. Don't have a fight. A Don't die. Star is born. You're on death's door. I'm going to have to use a bit of food to get him back. Let's just use all the food because if we get the hunger event now, we're screwed. But don't have a fight. Don't have a fight. Come on. It's got a fight. Shit. Oh, and I got surprised, so I lose a turn and everybody gets mixed up. Oh, actually, no, I don't lose a turn, but everybody's getting mixed up, and that is terrible. All right. It's not looking good for Amy or Moose. Madness. Our old friend. Right, what are we going to do? You can still heal from where you are, so just heal. If we win this fight, we win the, the quest and we get a big bonus. And Amy can bring everybody back from... Uh, sorry, Karen can bring everybody back from Death's Door every turn, as long as she doesn't die. We shall prevail! Bu buff everybody, come on, I need it. Thank you. Now, it's a bit of a waste killing him. He's only got one HP. In fact, do the stunning blow then. Yeah. Graveyard Slash does a lot of damage, usually. What can you do from here? Adrenaline Rush. No, we want you to go back there. I think he's close enough now he can't do his volley fire, which is actually very good. Try and keep Moose safe again, although how much HP has he got? 2 HP. No, if you're going into uh, Death's Door, you're going in whether you like it or not. That so really helps, though. Attacking Moose naturally. Knife in the dark. He dodged it. How about this knife in the dark? Bones break and flesh tears. And he's going after Moose as well. Can't kill him, though. Puts him on Death's Door, but literally can't kill him. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Nods in the back of my mind. Don't worry, you're powerful right now. Oh, you can still only do this. Swap. And we'll bring Moose back off of Death's Door. Get the kill. Oh, of course, his stats are going to be real low because he's worried about dying. And she's going slightly mental. Stab him. 
Cool, we survived and we win, right? We win? Yes! Um, but I'm going to lose the key anyway, so sure, try the key on the armor. You should, well, even if you don't get to keep the keys and whatnot, you should at least get their value. What was that? Oh, it reveals like the world. Runes Tactician. But that sounded like a positive thing, right? Oh yeah, so if we go back to the runes with Amy, she does 15% more damage. That is a really, really good trait. We just need to make sure she gets rid of Abusive. Alright, that actually went massively the well. Belong to us. Didn't get any deeds though, so I can't update my damn barracks. They hold. That's a shame. Got a crap ton of crests though. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a lot of crests. And people have leveled up. Let's see what people have got. So Moose is a lurker. That's technically true. So if the light is dark, he does more damage. That's not really relevant to the way I play. Oh, Amy got runes phobe, so she takes more stress in the runes, but she also deals more damage. And also she does more well, she's more accurate against Eldritch enemies. As is Matsumune. I kept on forgetting that that was you. I kept on thinking it was good Rory. Only Karen was the red shirt in this group. Anyway, back to town. Let's see if anything else has happened while we're gone. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. Oh, for but God's I sake. I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. So yeah, I actually forgot we hadn't unlocked these in this playthrough. We haven't got, we've now got the Nomad Wagon, which sells trinkets, and the Survivalist, which I can't actually remember. Also, Lynn lost a thousand of my gold after becoming overcome with emotion and donating generously. You did also lose 6 to 9 stress, however, so that's good. The giving away some of my desperately needed money, on the other hand. So yeah, what does this survivalist do again? I can't actually remember. At home remember. in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. Ah, right. It improves camping skills. It improves bonfires. I don't actually know the relevance of those yet, but yeah, here's the trinket lady. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. This is another complaint most people have been having as well. Trinkets, by and large, are shit. They just are. They're shit. The negatives always outweigh the positives. They are not worth using most of the time. Now, she uses crests to upgrade, actually. And <laughs> look at the cost of them as well. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to waste my crests on that. But can I upgrade my total roster size? No, I need more deeds. Two more deeds I need. Damn it. Oh, hang on. What about um, equipment then? Yeah, I, I think better equipment is better than... Reduces the cost. Nope, I just need to unlock this. Again, I need deeds. What about here, the skills? Nope, I need a couple more pictures for that. Right. Well, we do have a little bit of money, so we, I definitely want to get rid of Amy's stress. So she's not allowed to gamble, but everything else is pretty much fine. What's cheap? Uh, praying is cheap. Although I think I might have to put Moose in there. No, actually, unlike my character, he is not uh, god-obsessed. So, no, I can put her in here and pray to a higher power. Okay. So if Moose was to meditate then, that's another grand gone. Nothing outside of myself and nothing within. Rebecca and Karen are my throwaways. I need four throwaways though. That's the irritating thing. I think I can take my mains on a mission now though. That is a little bit high. Which heal does she have? It's the single better one. Right. Oh, Maya's pissed at something. Ah, it's another dog going past the window. I can hear it barking outside. I'll shut my door a little bit and hope that she stops. Right, um... I think we have time to fit in one more mission for this part then. If it's a short one. If it's a long one, I am going to have to do a break here. But let's see what's available to us. It's randomised each time. Oh, we can actually go to the Warrens. I've never been to the Warrens before. You don't get deeds there, though. You get pictures. We do have access to the first boss as well, the Necromancer. I'm definitely going to need better equipment and skills before I do that. Tier 2. I mean, higher than that is not required. It's a boss you need to do a lot of damage with that, though. It's a medium. Medium. Short. Short rim battles. And this is also short room battles. I have never been to the Warrens before. I have no idea what to expect. Shall we go explore it with my, with, well, with my throwaways or my better team? Hmm. 
let's take the A team. So me up front, then CR, then you uh, last three positions, and then Taya's better in. Well, for healing, it's final position. That's alrighty. Wait, do you have any skills that you could use there? Yeah. No, wait, you'd have to be in the middle. Right, what about you? You can use that one, you can use that one. You can't use that, you can use that. Yeah, she can go in the back spot then. So actually switch them around. Yeah, I've never seen the warrants. I've only ever done the runes in the world off camera in my other file as well. So it's short and we've got to do rune battles. Let's give this a go and we'll take... Again, I'm being a bit stingy with my food. We'll take one stack of food, we'll take one stack of torches. We'll take a shovel and that is it. No, we'll take one spare torch. There. I'm pressing it before I rethink and spend more money. So this looks like a sewer area, so I'm guessing blight is going to be rampant, which is a bit of a sucky thing. They breed quickly down there in the dark. Oh, very linear path Perhaps at least. We can slay them even faster. We should just be fighting enemies of the same level, though. Like, it's a, it's a tier one area. Oh, we're getting a free torch. Good. And then I'll just use it. Keep the us up, Max. Oh, carrion eaters. Born. Okay. Pray fast, no dodge. They're classed as beasts. Do I have anything that's particularly good against beasts? Probably not. Still, that's a good start. They've got 9 HP. Oh, they can munch. What does this do? Well, we're not going to find out just yet. It's their basic attack. I bet it does bleed, because everything in this game does bleed. Oh, uh, let's chuck a dagger at one of them. Good shot. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Give them no quarter. That's a good start. This is the A team. If they fail, what hope do we have? Well, actually, no. This isn't quite the A team, I don't think, because doesn't good Rory in the A team? I I don't know. I kind of prefer the grave robbers to the plague doctors, to be honest. Oh right, what are they? Swine drummer and swine wretch. Vomit. Well, that's a good blight for almost certain, right? No, it just does massive stress damage. Okay. I hate that they reordered us, by the way. I should probably use her turn to move because she can't heal right now. Yeah, reordering is such a pain in the arse. It's, it's, it happens too regularly. Uh, you can just attack. Let's try and slim down the numbers a little bit because I can still attack him where I am as well. That bleed will now kill him, so he is irrelevant. He dies on his next turn. Ooh, what is that? Oh, marked, and then you resisted something. Okay. Hmm. Good start. Well, actually, that could kill him. Ah, there's no point. Go for the kill on this one. Nice. Surges as the enemy crumbles. So this one's dying his next turn. Drums of debilitation. A debuff, I assume. Vomit again. Oh, he isn't actually walking on his back legs either. You're gross. Goodbye. A victory. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Good damage, CR. Yeah, bleed these guys. That's the advantage of not fighting undead for once. You can bleed them. Oh, he ducked. Don't need to heal. Go for the kill. Um, this is the end of the turn, right? So I kind of want to stun instead. Good. He got first turn as well. These are fast little buggers. Little pigmen. And he's dead next turn, even if I mess with everybody. Oh, bandages. Mount, and deeds. So too will resist That's us. what we wanted. If I can increase my barracks, I can have a proper full redshirt team that I don't need to name and then just fling them away to earn money for the important people. This chest does not require a key. What do we get? Alright. More valuables. Excellent. Next room, we are as ready as we're ever going to be. Let's see what other horrors we can discover and use a torch. Ooh, that's a horrible looking trap. Victory. Did she dodge that? What is this? Pile of bones. All that's left for the previous adventurer, perhaps. Stick your finger in. Loot! <laughs> a tiny amount. Have they nerfed the amount of gold you find or something? If they have, that is terrible. Alright. Ready? Let's go. What we got? Scouting. No fighting. Good. Right, next room's got a trap and then a bunch of stuff to examine. Next room is empty. Promising. That means our last fight or fights are in these rooms. 
So first of all, we've got a trap. Oh, and a neat event. Why are you worried about eating? We've got plenty of food for everybody. Should have used CR for that, but I managed to somehow disarm that. What is that? It's a tentacle. Hmm? Oh, you've, uh, that's right. I've got the thing that makes me... Yeah, open stuff without... I got the best result, though. Alright, hang on. Right, a lot of stuff happened there, so... My compulsive triggered, which means I have to do it because I, I don't have a choice. But then I got Rune Scrounger, so if we're in the runes, I have a 10% more chance of triggering a scouting event. Good, we're not in the runes right now, but if I go back, that is good. And here we need a trusty shovel. Are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Hmm, I see. I like that there's also new narration that we're, because we're in a new area. You get unique stuff when you go after bosses as well. This is a horrible looking place and entirely empty. Move on. Oh, an adventurer's backpack. They are very rarely booby trapped and we actually got a map. So that's scouting. Okay, so there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is there's no hallway fights. The bad news is we have to go to the very end room to get our last fight. So there's a chance of folk getting trapped and whatnot. Other than that though, Oh, there could also be a fight in this corridor. It didn't actually fill this corridor in. So, books. Touch it. Oh, he's going to get a little bit stressed. And now everybody's going to get very stressed by doing this. With our tools of iron, I know the torch is fading. It's because doing that event brings it down. Purpose. Oh, you're new. Swine chopper, swine slasher. You're a DD. Uh, all I can do is heal. Might as well heal the tank. Hook where it hurts. This will pull her forwards, right? Oh, no it didn't. Did a crap ton of damage though. Oh look, it's teeth and stuff fall out. And you just give... Excuse me? You just give Taya bulimia. That isn't cool. I do not approve. I zealously ac accuse you of doing some creepy bullshit. Take that. Or not, you're very good at ducking those throwing knives. Butcher Gut. Oh god, yeah, you do a lot of damage and you seem to have a fixation on the Grave Robber. Grave Shot Go! Oh, Ice Cream Van going past the window for those of you who like trying to spot it. Crit damage means everyone's going to get stressed for no good reason. Didn't dodge that one, did you, you little shit? Alright, heal the Grave Robber. Oh, oh. Quickly the tide turns. and again, because it's a crit, everyone's going to get stressed. Returning kind. That's a way. So yeah, that's there's only one more fight we have Trifling to do. Victory. That is a fact. There is only but one more fight. There is still the chance it will be a really... Uh, excuse me? Oh, this is an altar room. It wasn't filled in by the scout either. Shit. That's also something people pointed out that is a glitch if... The grape shot misses one person, it misses them all, whereas most multi hits do it on a person by person basis. Oh, you're just going to kill CR, are you? Okay, that's, that's not very nice, but I guess I can't really stop you. These should not be a problem, they're as weak as normal. I don't like how my HP is going to be after this, though. That'll probably stun. It did, and Mark. Still not entirely sure what Mark does. I assume it just makes you easier to hit, like lowers your dodge. Oh, your turn again already, eh? Alright, well, here's the one who's probably going to get smacked this turn. And that's more like it. Just got the poison buggers to go. Good dodge. Yeah, they're going after the mark target. I made the right choice for the heal. Zealously accuse those spiders and double kill. Ooh, what is Remind this? It's ancestral, so it's like confidence. super rare. Slow and insidious killer. So that's actually pretty good. Why? Well, because if you've got a character who's got shit dodge anyway, that's just really good. So what is the dodge of me? My dodge is five. Let me see how that compares to everybody else. Also, let's just use that. Let's the use way is lit. The path one, is two, clear. three, four. And that means we can do one more healing event. It. Dodge. Yeah, my dodge is already half of... Oh, Taya's got zero dodge. So that would increase your protection and max HP. That seems fine for you, especially because you're at the back. So what's your HP? Yeah? So protection is... Just a base percentage of lowering damage, I guess? As in damage received, I mean. Right, so sorry. Now we know for a fact there is only one more fight, but we do have to get to it past a few traps, irritatingly. Let's use... Oh, there's our final wheat event that I can cope with as well. Let's hope we don't get another one. 
Good job, CR. How many torches do I have left for? I can use one. The light. Oh, the God. Promise of safety. A cart of human remains that looks much like a feeding trough. Disgusting. Can we burn it? Nope. And I used that up. Well, touch it then. Oh, it's edible. We've got some more food. We're not going to do a hunger event, so we might as well just heal CR with it. Let's burn a torch. As the light gains on purchase, spirits are lifted. We are going to run out of stuff, work clear. our way to this last fight, and let's hope that it isn't too hard. Oh yeah, they have they have nerfed the amount of gold you get. Let's use our highwayman on this. Don't shush me. Look what you did to CR, Lin. Ancient oh, hang on, I can cure that. In wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. And we get two food. All right, we'll use that on CR. So we're at the room. Full brightness, do it. Don't stop to collect ourselves. We've got this one fight. Let's see what we're up against. Come on! All right, familiar enemies. Lots of bleed to contend with. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. Oh, fantastic! Hang on, he's got zero HP. Why isn't he dead? Uh, excuse me. He's got zero HP. Why isn't he dead? He still has zero HP. What shenanigans is this? Uh, it's clearly like a glitch. <laughs> good CR, good heal. Then on my turn I'll zealously accuse these two and hopefully kill one of them. Ooh, drums of doom. What did that do to them? Oh, it's a stress attack, of course it is. Luckily I should be able to finish this before anyone fully breaks. You're bad! That's what that says on it. Boom. You can't stand against the A-team. What debuff was that? That was damage debuff. Doesn't save you though, does it? Fantastic. These creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Yeah, yeah they can. We actually achieved that. My first little wandering into the Warrens. It was called the Warrens, right? And we earned just over six grand, six and a half grand. And more importantly, we got a bunch of deeds. I think enough for me to increase the barrack size. And did some people level up? Why are we getting this tutorial? I had this already, didn't I? Unless I was on my off-camera play. Another thing people don't like, and we're not going to have to deal with it just yet, but if people get to max resolve, which is currently level three, they refuse to go on apprentice level missions, and that's not good either. But anyway, let's see what everyone has. So I don't like unholy things, sadly, that's actually pretty bad, but I am better at killing humans. CR got enlightened, so he's only allowed to meditate. Torn rotor cuff. Hmm, Ty doesn't really do melee, so that's fine. Because she'd probably get that removed still. Hard skin, so that's five more protection on top of what she's getting from that new trinket I gave her, so that's really, really good. And Lynn got nocturnal, that's entirely accurate. And she also got resistant, uh, resilient, sorry. Now it's not a bad mix of stats to get. It's random, by the way, whether you get positive, negative, or both. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. All right. Well, next time we will be putting some people into stress relief and also increasing our barrack size and filling out a team of redshirts. And I think next time I'm deliberately just going to send Rebecca and Karen to their deaths and then replace them. So you know, look forward to that. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and stay tuned for more gaming stuff, be it Darkest Dungeon or any of the other things I do. Ta-ta for now.